Today I am going to solve activity 3.1 of your book. In question number 1 part A, you have been asked to tell the names of three buses used in von Neumann architecture. In, uh, as you can see from figure 3.2 that there are three buses in the von Neumann architecture. First one is control bus, second one in purple is address bus and the third one is the data bus. So you are supposed to write the names of these three buses in your answer. In question number 1 part B, you have been asked to explain the functions of those buses also. Describe the function of each named bus. I have taken the answer from your book. The address bus carries addresses throughout the computer systems. It from it takes order from CPU and carries it to other parts. So it is unidirectional. It uh, carries address only in one direction. This is the only bus which has only um, single direction. The data bus carries uh, data in both ways. It's bidirectional because it carries data in it. Sometimes data needs to be sent back to the to the CPU also. And third one is the control bus, which is also bidirectional because uh, the instructions or commands given by the uh, CPU, uh, some instructions need to come back to the CPU, some signals need to come back to the CPU as well. You can see it from here also that the control bus is bidirectional, the address bus is, the address bus is unidirectional, it has only one direction and the data bus is also you can see this from here that it is also bidirectional uh, because the signals have to be sent in both directions. I have taken the uh, answer from your book. I have written about address bus, data bus and control bus uh, from your book that the address bus carries addresses, the data bus carries uh, data and the control bus carries signals uh, or in, uh, and the control bus carries signals. In question, in part C, you have been asked to describe how bus width and clock speed can affect computer performance. Um, the answer is this. If you consider the address bus, if address bus uh, becomes wider, more memory locations can be directly accessed at one time. For example, if the width of the bus is 16 bits, then at one time, 2 raised to power 16 memory locations can be addressed. Uh, it can address 2 raised to power 16 memory locations. If you have a 32 bit uh, computer, then it allows 2 raised to power 32 memory locations to be simultaneously addressed. Uh, when it comes to data bus, uh, if the data bus is, is also very important, the wider the bus, the larger the word length. Word length means the number of bits that can be transported at one time. If it's a 16-bit bus, then it will carry 16 bits at a time. If it is a 32-bit bus, it will carry 32 bits at a time. And if it's a 64-bit uh, bus, it will carry 64 uh, bits. And 64 bits means 64 divided by 8 uh, and it means 8 bytes or 8 characters. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Any eight characters can be transferred at one time. When it comes to control bus, there is no real need for bus to be wider. How clock speed can affect computer performance? As you can see, that the clock cycle synchronizes all computer operations. Uh, the clock bus transmit timing signals throughout the computer. So if this speed increases, the speed of computer also in, in increases. So this is what I have mentioned over here. By increasing cl uh, clock speed, the processing speed of computer is also increased. And if a typical value is 3.5 gigahertz, it can be raised to increase the performance of the computer. 